What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Mountain Dew uh, with another uh, top ten list. So today's going to be the top seven most forgotten Lego like Star Wars sets. He sets um, while doing some research for this video. I really had no idea they existed until I found them while doing research for this video. And another thing I want to say that these sets are pretty nostalgic to me. I might remember them from when I was younger, but then all of a sudden just forgot about them out of the blue. And just because I call these sets forgotten doesn't mean I think they're bad sets. I think they're really good sets. I just feel like they're, they're underrated and no one really seems to talk about them anymore. So moving on to number 10, we, I mean number 7, we have the Hail Fire Droid from 2015. Um, the same came with uh, two, two super battle droids and one phase one clone trooper uh, in a blue outfit, which has some good minifigures. I do like the build of the set. Um, it's a 2015 set, which in my opinion, there's a lot of 2015 Lego sets out there that are just all forgotten because, I don't know, I kind of feel like 2015 for a Lego Star Wars was just kind of a for um, not really that much desirable sets and most people just seem to forget about them as, um, and um, that's kind of a trend you'll see with 2015 sets. You might see more on this list but I literally had no clue this set existed until Aminor Productions made a review on it. Moving on to number 6 we have the 2015 once again battle droid troop carrier. And just like the wheel droid from 2015, I didn't know this set existed until Aminor Productions made a video on it. And uh, this set, uh, yeah, um, it's another 2015 set, which means it's um, odd, definitely odd to be forgotten or not. And, um, you know, I still remember getting the original one from 2011. And that was a very nice set that was only $20. And this one is $50. You could sometimes get it for $40, but the price, um, the uh, the piece count went up quite a lot. Um, it's still a nice uh, uh, battle droid uh, army maker, but still nothing too special, you know. It, um, there was actually a lot of Phantom Menace sets in 2015. Uh, moving on to number seven, I have chosen the Y Wing. Um, unpopular opinion, where I was never really a fan of the Y Wing. I don't know why. It's felt like the Y Wing has a very odd looking design. Of course, it's shaped like a Y, yes, but just its design just definitely uh, looked that right in my head. I just didn't. I, I was just never really a fan of design. I kind of feel like that the Y was just kind of an overrated uh, little Star Wars uh, spaceship out there that I kind of just don't understand it. But this one is easily the most uh, forgotten out of all the Y Wings because um, uh, just like the other sets, I had no clue this set existed until I saw it on like a top seven list or whatever, I don't know. I think Life Grid Studios mentioned it in like a, um, a ranking video of all the 2007 sets. Uh, moving on to number four, we have the T-16 Skyhopper from 2015. Um, it came with some pretty cool minifigures. For the first time, we got a new Tuscan Bay with a molded head. Um, I just feel like the older one was just a much more memorable set. I don't know why, but that's just how I feel about this. Um, and don't get me wrong, this is actually a very nice looking set. I feel like you did an amazing job with this set. I really like its design and um, I, uh, I just really, I really enjoyed this set. That's really uh, what I have to say about it. I didn't know this set existed, but I feel like the set doesn't really get talked about too much. And it's kind of, and uh, once again, it's from 2015, so it's bound to be forgotten. Next up on the list, um, moving on to number three, I've chosen Anakin Custom Jedi Starfighter um, from 2015, and I think that's a trend. We see these 2015 sets that are just totally forgotten, and um, this was one of those sets, forty dollars for 370 pieces. It's not, it's not a bad deal, honestly. I did actually remember the set when it first came out, but then all, all of a sudden, out of the blue, I just completely forgot about it. This was actually the, I think, the only set that they ever made. Uh, based off the uh, 2003 Clone Wars TV series and not the the newer series with the CGI and all that crap. Um, but it does have some really nice minifigures. That, that Anakin minifigure is not exclusive, but he did have a blue lightsaber with him. Um, the astromech droid is pretty cool, but I think he came in the battle pack later on. And um, of course the best minifigure to this set is uh, uh, Asajj Ventress um, with the new facial expression. 
not any facial expression, but just a better face print. That uh, really makes up for the older one, um, because the old one just looked like crap. So the Kwame is getting bigger. You guys know how I feel about Kwame getting bigger. Moving on to number two, we have Anakin Sabova's Pod Racers from 2011. This set, um, I do actually remember seeing on shelves at Walmart back in the, back in the day. But I feel like this one was just forgotten. And literally, I searched up reviews for the set on um, YouTube, and I've only found like one review. And it's just a really old and crappy review from like 2011, with just no yeah. HD quality. It did come with good minifigures, so I really love the minifigures. But just considering the year of this set and just what it was, I just felt like it was very underrated. Moving on to number one, guys, this is a set that I really had no idea that existed. Like, not at all. Like, this set, I had no idea that existed at all. I was actually thinking of making uh, Return of the Jedi set ideas, and I was putting the B-Wing on the list with spring loaded shooters, but until I saw Jane Briggs review of the set um, that did have what I was hoping for, um, I just got rid of it off the list because I literally had no idea the sex, like not at all. Like Jane Brooks was like the person who I actually, um, who his review actually told me that, um, oh this is said exists. So like, I like it. now that I know that he said it exists, I'm actually a pretty I'm a much happier person now because I actually really like the set for 2014. I think it's a really neat and awesome, amazing, uh, nice looking set and. I, I just really, I really like this set, um, but once again, it's not a bad set. I just can't believe I didn't know it existed uh, until now. So there you have it, folks. That's the top seven forgotten LEGO Star Wars sets out there. Uh, what do you, do you remember any of these sets when they were released? Did um, you didn't know a single set on this list existed? Let me know in the comment section down below, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Also, another quick thing I just wanted to mention real quick is that if this video hits um, five likes in a few hours, um, I'll come back with a double upload for you guys. I just wanted to mention that real quick because I realized that yet yeah, I forgot to post yesterday. Um, so please let this video get to five likes.